Doc McStuffins. Cuddle me, Lammy. Doc McStuffins had just finished making her bed when she heard a strange sound. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Lammy huffed as she finished her cuddle ups. You do remember what today is, Doc, don't you? Of course, Doc replied. It's Cuddle Day. International Cuddle Day, said Lammy, correcting her. Lammy wasn't the only one getting ready for the Cuddle Day celebration. In the McStuffins' kitchen, Dad was gathering ingredients. The cuddle cake making was about to begin. Happy Cuddle Day, Doc greeted him. And a happy Cuddle Day to you, Doc, he replied. Then Dad leaned in and gave Lammy an extra big cuddle. Donnie heard the Cuddle Day commotion and raced into the kitchen. Can I help? he asked. Sure, said Doc. You can add the flour. Donnie poured the flour into the bowl. Then he poured in some more flour. And some more. And some more. I think that's enough, Donnie, Dad said, laughing. Donnie plopped the bag on the table. Thunk! And then a cloud of flour floated over Lammy. Dad mixed up the batter and poured it onto the griddle. It was time to watch him make some cuddle cake magic. Flip, flop. Dad flipped the cakes onto Doc's and Donnie's plates. Then he cut them into heart shapes and sprinkled blueberries on top. Best cuddle cakes ever, Doc cheered. Doc and Donnie gobbled up their delicious cuddle cakes. Then Dad took Donnie to his play date. Doc, Mom's working in her office if you need her, Dad called. Thanks, Doc said. Lammy and I are off to the clinic for the big cuddle day celebration. Lammy hopped into her cuddle booth and flipped the sign around. So beautiful, Lammy sighed. So many cuddly memories. The cuddle booth is now open for cuddles. Stuffy, Chili, Hallie, Bronte, and Sir Kirby rushed to line up for a cuddle. Even the Wicked King tried to get in line. In the wrong spot. Hey, no cutsies, Stuffy reminded the Wicked King. Oh, beansicles, the Wicked King huffed. Achoo! Lammy sneezed. Achoo! 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 Lammy, maybe you should come back to the checkup room for a minute, Doc suggested. We can find out why you're sneezing so much. Lammy's eyes looked good, and so did her nose. But when she had to open wide and say, ah, a giant achoo snuck out instead. Achoo! Doc used her reflex hammer to gently tap Lammy's knee. Lammy's woolly leg kicked forward, sending a puff of flour into the air. Hmm, Doc said. Looks like flour. Doc knew exactly what the problem was. Lammy, you must have gotten flour on you when you were mixing the ingredients for cuddle cakes, Doc explained. You have a case of flour ptosis. The flour is what's making you sneeze. Then Doc gave Lammy the really bad news. Until Dad got home and washed the flour out, Lammy wouldn't be able to cuddle. If she did, she could spread flour ptosis to the other toys. I can't cuddle on cuddle day? Lammy sniffed. This is awful. Doc was all set to cancel cuddle day, but Lammy wouldn't have it. Cuddle day had to go on. Lammy gathered her toy friends around her. This year, I've decided it's time to train other toys in the art of cuddle, Lammy proclaimed. So today, the cuddle booth will be manned by me, Lammy. Pick me, Stuffy yelled. Me, 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 please. 
Since Stuffy said please, he got to be the first in the cuddle booth. The toys lined up again, but Stuffy's dragon-sized hugs were a lot squeezier than Lammy's cute cuddles. The toys started to ask questions. Lammy, I think the toys are wondering why you aren't giving cuddles, Doc whispered. Maybe you should say something. I just want to thank everyone for the wonderful celebration today, Lammy told her friends. And I'd love to give cuddles to each and every one of you. But how about some high fives instead? Stuffy had heard enough. He was determined to get to the bottom of the non-cuddling Lammy mystery. Lammy, it's International Cuddle Day, and you haven't given one cuddle all day, he said. So what's going on? Do you want to tell them? Doc asked. Or should I? Oh, all right, Lammy sighed. I have flower ptosis. I knew it, Stuffy said, and yet I have no idea what that is. Doc explained that it meant Lammy was covered in flour and couldn't give any cuddles. So you're telling us no cuddles on cuddle day? Chili asked. I really wanted to make today special for you all, Lammy said sadly. But now International Cuddle Day is ruined. Just then, Doc heard a car pulling into the driveway. Dad's home, she said excitedly. Now we can wash you and get the flower out, Lammy. Later, Dad poked his head into Doc's room. Did somebody call for a fluffy, clean, flower-free Lammy? He asked as he held out Doc's toy. When Dad left, Doc used her stethoscope to bring her toys to life. Did it work, Doc? Lammy wondered. Is my flower ptosis gone? Doc fluffed up Lammy's wool. Not a speck of flower in sight. I'm so happy I could cuddle, Lammy cheered. You can, Doc agreed. And Lammy, I was proud of you today. You were a true friend to the other toys. You didn't want to get them sick, so you didn't cuddle, even though you wanted to. Is it still cuddle day? Lammy asked. Did I miss it? Through the window, Doc could see that the sun hadn't set yet. It was still cuddle day, and there was plenty of time for cuddles for everyone. The best kind of cuddles, too. Cuddles from Lammy.